Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy Bruce Wayne, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Bruce Wayne Live. Hopefully everybody's good. Everybody had a good week. Um, a lot to jump into this week, a lot going on as usual. And if there's nothing going on, I'm gonna make something out of nothing. But um, first and foremost, hopefully everybody's out there keeping safe. Um, with the whole COVID-19, it's still a problem. It's still something that's affecting our lives. And hopefully everyone is, is, is I know everyone's not, is not sheltering in place though, because there's a lot of stuff, a lot of footage and, and images of people just out there doing them. People tired, people cooped up, people rolling their dice, people playing Russian roulette with COVID. But welcome to Bruce Wayne Live. I'm here every Sunday at 8 p.m. streaming on Facebook. And then I am rebroadcasted on Instagram and YouTube. So, like I said, they got a lot of people out there still doing them um, and, and not following the COVID guidelines, which I don't advise you to do because if you're a listener, I would like you to continue to be a listener and not to become a corpse. Also, let's get this out the way right now. Make sure you shoot over right now to Hip Hop Heads Worldwide. That is my group. That's the Batman's group. When you see that logo, join the movement. Get down with the movement. Shoot over there. Um, the most popping group on Facebook. You could submit your music. Um, share industry news. Share share world news. Share, share anything pertaining to hip hop or entertainment. Let me give you a bigger shot to make sure that you get it right. Um, if you are seeing this on Facebook, make sure you shoot over to Hip Hop Heads Worldwide. If you are seeing this on YouTube, make sure you shoot over to Facebook and join Hip Hop Heads Worldwide. If you are seeing this on Instagram, make sure you go over to Facebook and join Hip Hop Heads Worldwide, the most popping group right now on Facebook on the planet. Because the Batman's in it, baby. The most popping group on the planet. As far as I'm concerned, but yo, Ahmad Avery, um, we had some updates this week on his case. Um, just to catch some people up to speed, that's the case where the young man was killed in Georgia. He was approached by by two men um, for simply jogging, and um, they wound up killing him. They wound they wound up killing him, and um, the arrest didn't take place to almost a month later. I think almost two months later, when um, video footage leaked, video footage leaked, and, and what's crazy about the story. And where the twist is at in the story is now that there's a, a a new arrest has been made this week. And lo and behold, the person that was arrested is this man. I got to make sure I get his name right. I believe his name is Brian William or, or William Brian. But the goofball, the guy that looks like the goofball with the 1960s monkeys haircut. I'm not referring to a monkey. I'm referring to the, the, the group, the monkeys, the haircut. Um... Beatles haircut right there with the gray. But come to find out, this guy has been under a lot of questioning by police. And they wanted to know, they were trying to say that he may have had something to do with it. And he kept trying to claim his innocence and he had nothing to do with it. He was just an innocent bystander that happened to be filming, that caught the footage, and that helped this, this um, tragedy come to light. And for a while, we believed that. We were singing his praises. They were singing his praises. They were like, yo, this guy did a good thing. If it wasn't for him, the case would not have been solved. But come to find out, Mr. Bryan play, play, may have play, played a, a crucial part in Ahmad's death because after further investigation, now they're saying that he also blocked, he blocked Ahmad's path when Ahmad was, when Ahmad was trying to get away from his killers um, with his vehicle. So if it wasn't for him, maybe Ahmad would be alive today. But as of right now, I know that he has been charged. He has been charged with um, illegal confinement and murder. Yes. He is now facing a murder charge um, because he ain't, want to, he ain't want to mind his business. So let this be a valuable lesson to those of y'all out there that want to poke your nose in places where it doesn't belong and then get active. He's facing murder just like the McMichaels. I don't remember the son's name, but I know their last name, the son and father that killed 
um, Ahmad, but I know their last names are McMichaels. Now he's facing murder, just like them. And I don't really see this man getting off without, with a slap on the wrist or getting nothing. Because if he does, all I'm saying is that hell may break loose in the streets. I'm not saying that I want hell to break loose in the streets. I am not telling anyone to, you know, run out there and cause hell to break loose in the streets. I'm just saying there may be hell to pay and hell may break loose in the streets if these guys get off. And um, it is what it is. Black people are tired. We are tired of being persecuted for no apparent reason. Yo, but like I said, I'm here. We getting settled in. Um, but let's, 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 I, I want to knock the COVID thing out because I've been seeing a lot of pictures and it's crazy, man. Like people are out there. People are out there. I mean, I might be one of y'all, someone viewing the show might be out there. Like, yo, fuck that, Bruce. That shit ain't real. It's whatever, whatever. I'm just living my life. I feel you, bro. Like I said, I lost two, two, two family members to it. I'm not going to keep harping on it. So I take the matter pretty serious. When I go out there, I mask up, um, have my gloves on, try to protect myself so when I do come home, I don't jeopardize the people that's within my household. That's just me being, I feel, being a uh, responsible person. That's how, how I'm approaching it. You want to go out there and wild out, it is what it is. But they're showing pictures of beaches. They're showing pictures of bars. And people are just like, like whatever. They're just, they're just rolling their dice. And hopefully it doesn't come back to bite people in the ass. And one of my favorite, favorite athletes coming up. And I am going to say, and I am being, um, I am biased because I am Jamaican. I am of Jamaican descent. I rude boy and I listen to him. Um, P. Ewing, man. My man P. Ewing. Patrick Ewing, one of the greats from the Knicks, has um, been hospitalized for COVID-19. Um, he released a statement saying that he hopes people start to really take this very, very seriously. And um, all I got to say is um, my best... My well wishes out to you, Pat, uh, and your family, especially you for a speedy recovery. I know you ain't no spring chicken no more. I, I think he may be like 57, 58, um, which is really not an old man in this day and age. But I just hope that Pat recovers. And so well wishes and speedy recover goes out to you from the Batman. That's all I got to say on that. Also, another um, NBA great past. I want to give him an honorable mention. Um, Jerry Sloan, the coach of the Utah Jazz. And, and anyone that followed bas that follows basketball knows that Utah Jazz was a very formidable team with Carl Malone, the mailman. You know what I'm saying? John Stockton. If I'm getting anything wrong, it is what it is. But um, Utah Jazz, they went to the finals a few times. Unfortunately, they went down to MJ like a lot of great franchises went down to MJ in the 90s, including the New York Knicks, which um, Patrick Dewan happened to be a part of. But that's neither here nor there. Um, we're just hoping Pat a speedy recovery. Also, I have to um, give a shout out to, to, to Swiss Beats and the whole Versus thing. I haven't really been keeping up on it that much. I ain't going to front. I know I saw little sprinklings, a little indication that a, a, a battle may have been taken may have been taking place this week that I may have been interested in, but I kind of missed it. But shouts out to my man Matt Millions. Um, he blasted it off online, shot it with me, and I got a chance to to to, to go check it out. And I'm talking about I'm talking about this Bounty Killer versus Beanie Man, which right now is being held as so far the best out of all the battles that have taken place. How do you feel about it? Did you watch it? Let me know. Leave, so leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments. Also, if I don't get to your comments right away, I will get to your comments after the show. Um, but did them mash it up? Did you watch it? I watched the replay. Um, a lot of great memories because as you know, most of them that had their prime and most of the hits that they pumped out was in the 90s or in the late 2000s. And 
just like the 90s is a golden era for hip hop, it's also a golden era in dance hall and reggae music. When them the man there was just pumping out hits after hit and I mash it up. So, you know, so when we check it out, I seen what I seen and, and it brought back a lot of good memories, man. And it was dope. I enjoyed it to the fullest. Um, who do I think win? Who do I think won? Um, it's very hard. It's very hard to decide. Um, you know, Beanie had the, the sweet, had some sweet tune. But when the, when the killer come, the killer come hard, you know. The killer come hard, mash it up. So he was being very aggressive. And it was just... It was just enjoyment. It was just enjoyment. And like they said afterwards, it was more like about the sport than anything. But right now, I'm going to get into some music. Um, and I definitely got to feature some of the music for my brethren. So I'm going to give y'all real quick uh, a hip-hop um, reggae mashup. This is Mob Deep and Bounty Killer. D and Jazoon. Check it now. <laughs> I saw these fools try to get around, trying to let me down and all that. <laughs> but I got an easier way to let them drown. With these guns of Navi Round. Weapon on the middle is hold against the killer on you. Me shoot them like Al Capone with guns half Navi Round. Some try to reach around and try to let me down. A quicker way to make them down. A step up in a deadly zone. Bad man, them boy won't glow. Tell them it's gone down before so down. Hey! Them should have no red skill, them rocking out, big guns popping out, niggas get smoked yeah, out. Yeah, try to knock me down, bury me under. Big pipe sounding like thunder. Skated by the skin of my teeth. I had to put a man in his place last week. Now why you want to come at me? I'm the wrong nigga to approach like that, Holmes. Wrong nigga for threats, long nigga with long chrome. But we could dance till one of us drop. You score points falling with good formation. I'm the wrong nigga for patience, wrong one and done. The very last nigga you should ever blast your gun. To the floor, acting like you going to war. Now you fucked up, become a real rocket launcher. Flamethrower, rule with an iron rod. That be the Ruger, y'all niggas keep trying hard. But who the loser when you can't walk your hood at night? And you can't come outside without fear. Am I in your thoughts often? Why you be walking? Foot soldier catch you at the store's corner. Keep me on your mind and don't slumber. Man, a minute to slip a dose. That's your ass. Ass. Bad man, ass. that boy won't go. Then if it's gone down before so down. Well, them should have known and scared them rocking out. Big guns popping out. Niggas get smoked out. High fitness, sick. Keep your mother fucking out. You next will pronounce when these guns are out. Bad man, that boy won't go. Tell them I'll scare them. How we young school. Well, them and them associate remind them, tell them don't forget Scare them with your niggas, not that shit, we don't take What if it is still in talent, but they really feel in talent Black talent for right to live, mob deep attack them next Before the sun now he stepped, couldn't live all of them disrespect Them stepping on the little zone against a killer on your own You shoot them like a hulk upon me, guys that have a row So try to reach a row, and try to let me down And pick a way to make them down, and step up on the deadly zone Night and them boy won't go, tell them I can't know before so long Yo, it's like this, time, yo, cop Pop that shit, pop that shit, sweet off, let them know how real is it. M O B B D double E B with bounty killer. No other gun runners keep it real like this. From Q U double E and S, my born burrow to the day of my death. Whether it's shit I've been in, running down the block, spraying shots with the linden. Listen, we all been through action. You know the last man blasting, the last man standing. Pack shit longer than Van Wick. Neither the Jakes or the snakes don't stop it. You know the mob letting off rockets. Gun running spit like lungies, dummies, still nothing pop but the shell. These ain't words from hell, these are slugs, something you fail. A gun, gun runner, runner, nigga, for real. Yo, lead the front line, dismantle gap and bounce. The watch at 12 o'clock, news and hear them shout you out. Plug leak, slip rub right from under your feet. We run in the streets, you don't want no problem with us. Every day is like 4th of July to us. Henny in my cup, aside to get you fine in my clutch. Interfere with the plan and you will get touched. Let the liquor talk for you and you will get touched. For flesh. Like Rod, let them know the ledge Why you slipping off the edge? Shorty's giving me head Cocking them legs like guns when I'm cocking the spray Popping the way, sending shit that's hot your way well, Stepping on the daily zone against the killer on your own We shoot them like Al Capone with guns half down a row Some try to reach around and try to let me down And quicker way to make them zone and step up in a daily zone I right, send them boy won't go Tell them it's gone down before so down well, Stepping on the daily zone against the killer on your own We shoot them like Al Capone with guns half down a row 
Some try to reach around and try to let me down. As we go to make them zone, a step up in a deadly zone. Bad man, them boy won't know. Tell them it's gone down before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, that's a classic right there. Shout, shout to Bounty, shout, shout to Bounty Killer. Yo, I was so shout, shout to Mob Deep. Shout, shout to Prodigy. Rest in Paradise, my brother. Shout, shout to Havoc. You know what I mean? Big Noid. Queens Bridge. That's what it is. That, that was a banger. The, beat, the production on that was just crazy. When that came on last night, it was just like, whoa. Um, the amount of music that was just pumping out. You forget the catalog. The catalog was crazy. The catalog was crazy. That, um... Beanie Man and Bounty Killer. The, the, the catalog was just crazy. Eh? And the energy, you know, the energy. When I met me pro, you know, yo, man, um, Swiss Beats, once again, big you up, man. You know, I'm going to have to definitely um, tag you up in this um, and, 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 and let you know how it, it definitely inspired me. And it just brought a, a focus back. Everybody know that. That the the amount of stuff that you know I seen I was watching some of the um the responses and and, and um on IG and people was like oh Jamaica need to get more credit nah man Jamaica good man we get enough credit it's, it's a big impact that little island make on this world it's undisputable the little the impact this island has made on on the world itself and music and culture and food everything. You know, and, and that was just a great display to me last night to see my fellow countryman mash it up. So big up on the self, big up on the self, big up on the self. I'm going to try to get something on with, with, with Bounty too. I mean, with um, Beanie before this is all over with. But back to the coronavirus real quick, man. Um, have you been tested? Have you been tested? Uh... Have you seen the testing procedure? Because now they have it where they're asking a lot of folks to go get tested to see if they have the antibodies because they're saying more people have actually gotten the virus and recovered from it than they had first anticipated. But if you've seen the test, I ain't got a chance to have um, some footage gathered up to, 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 to play the uh, uh, to have you physically see the test if you have it. But I know I'm dealing with, I know my audience is savvy and y'all probably saw it already. I mean, they got a suave that's about this long and they're sticking it up your, up your nostril like to the point where it's just too long. It's just too long. It's just, it looks like if you're dealing with somebody that's a little, that's not wrapped too tight or they're just, a little bit off that day that they could just go up a, a centimeter or so too much with that swab in your nose and touch your brain and have you turn back to three years old again. So they're going to have to get a, a, a better testing solution than sticking a 12 inch swab up your nose that could turn you back to a toddler if someone shoves it up there too far. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. All I got to say is take care of yourselves. Pop your vitamin C. Take that elderberry. Um, throw the gloves on, the mask on. And I don't know, man. That tenant, that tenant swab they're shoving up niggas' noses. I'm not with that shit. You ain't tickling my brain and turning me to Forrest Gump, nigga. But yo, this COVID thing is serious. It's real. Speedy recovery to, to Patrick Ewing. And we spoke about this guy last time, and my man, Mike Tyson, ever since Mike threw that footage out, Mike is on a tear. Mike has been on a tear on a, on a, it's like the world is falling in love with Mike again. You forget how charismatic Mike is. Shouts out to Mike, shouts out to Brooklyn, shouts out to, to Brownsville, you know what I mean? Um, he reps all in New York, though, but that's y'all. We can't ever try to take that from y'all. I'm from the Bronx. You know, we take shit. I know Brooklyn takes shit too, niggas. Got Brooklyn ass niggas. But yo, that's neither here nor there. Shouts out to my man, Mike Tyson. He's milking it for all it's worth. Mike is out there getting that bag, baby. Mike is out there getting that bag. And I don't know how many of you guys are into pro wrestling. Um, I used to be into pro wrestling a lot when I was young. I still try to tune in on occasion. It's entertaining, niggas. It's entertaining. Don't judge me. But Mike made an appearance 
on AEW, All Elite Wrestling, and um, he was involved. I believe he was the one that was supposed to hand the winner um, the TNT Championship. Yeah. As you can see, Mike there smiling because he's getting that bag. You know he ain't doing that for free. He's put out the footage. He's jabbing. He's moving. He's looking good. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if WWE tried to holler at him soon because Vince McMahon and him is just that competitive. Mike is over there. AEW cut him a check. He went over there. It's, it's got the industry buzzing, the, the industry in there, um, as far as the wrestling community buzzing. And I'm happy for Mike. Uh, and, um, Mike, it seems like every couple of years, Mike reinvents himself or, or, or spins back into the media. And uh, the appetite that the media have for Mike just seems like it can't be quenched. He's also looking good. A video came out. Mike took his joint off. He's in, he's in phenomenal shape. Um, there's also a video that's been out there that's showing Holyfield training. Uh, a lot of people not impressed. But you never know. You never know if Evander... It's not putting all that he has in that video. You know, he's jumping rope very lightly. He's, he's, he's throwing a couple of jabs. He's not being too aggressive with it. And if he's trying to sell a fight, I don't know who who's, um, his advisors are. I guess he figures I'm Holyfield. Me and Mike get together. People are, are going to want to see it. Um, either he, one of two things, he's not trying to show all he has or he doesn't have it anymore. I don't know. But Mike is throwing... Freaking bazookas, Mike is throwing death charges, torpedoes in his video, and Holyfield is throwing them little shits you should throw on the floor when you was a kid, them little pop joints. I forgot what the fuck them shits is called. But yo, Holyfield, you gotta you gotta put out another video looking more aggressive and looking more crazy if you want people to feed into the whole scenario of you and Mike facing each other again. That's all I'm trying to say. And yes, what I said is coming to fruition. Old niggas is out there feeling theirself because Mike Tyson is making a comeback. Check the local news if you haven't seen it. It seems like every aggressive and every brawl involving shit going on right now is with someone in their 50s and older. It's not coincidence. I am a very big conspiracy theorist, but I know that this is Mike got old niggas feeling yourself. I know he does. Also, they say you got to give people their flowers while they're here. So I'm going to give him his flowers while he's here. Yo, shouts out to my man K Solo. Long Island in the building. Hit squad. You know what it is. PMD, all that. Shouts out to my man K Solo. He's reached a, um, he, uh, he released his album. Um, I can't hold it back. Uh, nah, my fault on that, man. My fault, fam. That's one of the songs off the album. Tell the world, tell the world my name. That's what it is. Tell the world my name. K Solo's first album was released 30 years ago. Salute to him. Salutes, fam. That's an accomplishment that you're still out here. You're still in the game doing what you do. Time flies, man. It's been 30 joints. Congratulations. I hope you've been celebrating it. And like I said, I'm giving you your flowers. We giving you over here, Wayne Enterprises. We giving you your flowers while you are still here. Um, for those y'all that don't know, Case Solo, um, he he runs with he um, was brought to the to the world by PMD of EPMD. Um, he does have a, a lot of other noticeable um, notable hits. He has a lot of notable notable hits like um, Spellbound, Letterman, Your Mom's in My Business, which is one of my favorites. And I can't hold it back, which is what I mistakenly shout out there first. The idol album title, pardon me, fam. And the headbanger, a classic, a classic featuring EPMD and Redman. But yo, let's take it to early in his career, man. Let's take it to early in his career and let's throw something on from K Solo. Salute, dog. Oh, 
hey, what I'm about to say may hit a lot of people in a real strange way. Some said I should have spelled this a long time ago, but I stayed amateur while others turned pro. P R O, now I'ma throw letters in my word so I can make a spellbound flow. Read it slow. See how it S O U N D sounds? K S O L O, spellbound. I'm spellbound. I like to say I'm the K-E-V-I-M My last name is M-A-D-I-S-O-N But when the R-A-P They call me K-S-O-L My rhymes are heavy like a rock So I'ma throw them like a bolo Rhymes are deaf Beats are hitting It's working The alphabets in the coffee pot To keep the spelling perking I-S-P-E-L-L Very W-E-L-L I only spell so all can T-E-L-L Rhymes I got all right Well S-E-L-L For rappers who don't believe me Go to H-E-L-L Rhymes I write are made by M-E Turn the M around And it spells W-E We K-I-C kick to B-E A-T on the S-T-R-E-E-T. No one got rhymes like T-H-E-S-E-D's rhymes. You can R-E-A-D. Read. See how it sounds. My fundamentals are spelling. And K-S-O-L-O spellbound. I'm spellbound. I'm not a G-A-M-E. This ain't the S-A-M-E-R-A-P-P-E-R. Who style is O-L-D. I'm any W for Y O U and the C R E W paralyzing vowels A E I O U nothing you're fronting and rappers are almost Q U I C K to T A L K summer real quick to W A L K you can S A Y say what your M A Y when I spell it right I'm a O P L A Y play around when it's time to get down read it slow when K S O L O is spelled right I'm spelled right. I'ma drop this line for MCs who try to spell or put spelling in the rhyme. They can't get it. I'm the B-E-S-T best spell round. Got a hundred. Why you fail the T-E-S-T test? Next time, try things I did spell. Verbs and nouns, action words and adjectives. Add it together and ask all how it sounds. And maybe a rapper out there could be spellbound. But for now, I'm the S-P-L-L-K-I-N-G. And then the song I S-I-N-G. And thanks to E-P-M-B, I am O-U-T-T-A-H-E-R. Yeah, yeah, shouts out to, to K Solo, man. Salute on 30 years in the game, doing your thing. If you've just tuned in, you're tuned into the Batman, Bruce Wayne. I'm here every Sunday on Facebook Live. This is this is Bruce Wayne Live and rebroadcasted on other all other so, social media networks. Like I said earlier, make sure if you're not a member already, make sure you shoot over. To hip hop heads worldwide, no matter where you're watching this, whether you're on Instagram, whether you're on Facebook, um, you see it on Twitter, a shit, and in, in, in a random group. Make sure you join hip hop heads worldwide. We represent hip hop culture. It's the movement. Um, shoot over there. Um, drop any hip hop news that you may, but that you may want to share. Any music you may want to share. Make sure you add family and friends to the group. Um, we popping, most popping group on Facebook. I mean, we ain't the largest, but we be the most popping. You know what I mean? And we growing. So make sure you get involved with the movement, man. Join the group. And, 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 and give me a shout out when you do. Holler at your boy, Bruce Wayne. If you don't know who I am, I'm not trying to rattle down all my credentials. I did that in the first episode. This is episode six. If you don't know who I am, Google me, niggas. But yo, back to the news, back to what's going on in the world. Um, this guy, Joe Biden, slipped up this week and he caught a lot of heat. And a lot of people mad at Joe Biden, man. They're mad at Joe Biden. They're saying that they don't, he, he, they think he overstepped his bounds when he said, um, to, to, to black people, if you're still trying to figure out whether to vote for me or, for me or Trump, um, 
you're not black or something like that. I could be saying it wrong. I might not be quoting it directly, but it was something along those lines. Like if you're still deciding whether you should vote for me or Trump, um, you're not black or your blackness should be questioned. A lot of people took exception to that. I personally was like, fuck it. He said what he said. And I don't see nothing that's, that's extremely wrong with it. Diddy came out. What up, Diddy? What up, bad boy? Um, and said, the, the black vote is not free. The black vote is not free. And I do agree with him. I just think Joe misspoke. Um, I think he does probably take for granted that he thinks blacks are probably going to come out for him heavily. And I think you're a fool. I think we'd be foolish if we don't. I really do. I mean, what would you rather have in there? Um, uh, uh, kind of arrogant, some, at times, Joe Biden or an insane all the time Trump. Um, can we survive four more years of Trump? Now, I know it's probably going to be some supporters that try to come at me in the comments. You come at me, I'm coming for your melon, niggas. But um, Biden and misspoke. Um, some people were, were upset about it. And um, I don't think it was a big to do. Republicans ran with it. Um, I heard I put out T-shirts or something. Biden doesn't think you're black or some some silly shit. That just shows you how much they think of us as us as a people. How stupid do you think we are? He flubbed a little bit. So now what? We're supposed to go running and, and, and vote for Trump. How much of our interest does Trump have at heart? You know what I'm saying? I think we're better off with Joe. Um, I think he apologized, which is the best thing to do. He ain't try to find no excuses. Oh, blah, blah, blah. He, he straight out came out. I was wrong. I misspoke, but. I totally understand what he was trying to say. Uh, the, the message he was trying to send, it was just the delivery. It was just the delivery, Joe. So it is what it is, man. I, I'm over it. Um, hopefully other others in the black community are, are over it as well at this point. If they're not over it, they're probably just a black person that wants to vote for Trump because they want to see the world implode. But it is what it is. Also... The NBA, man, the NBA hopefully will be opening back up and they will be finishing the season, which will be great. Um, I mean, I will enjoy it. I ain't going to say it's going to be like it will change the, the course of worldly events or nothing. But it will be great to see those guys get back out there. And basketball is a sport that I love. Um, Shouts out to the Knicks, man. That was my, that's my team. Shouts out to Patrick. You and hope you get better soon. And LeBron, LeBron ain't playing. King James is not playing. Come to find out that LeBron has been holding private practice sessions all this time. Um, he's, his, his teammates have been getting tested for COVID as well. LeBron wants the chip, baby. Bron Bron wants the chip. And um, I'm rooting for Bron. I'm not an LA fan. I'm not going to fake the funk. And I'm not a bandwagon person. I personally want the man to pull it out because I like the narrative. Um, unfortunately, God rest his soul, you know, we lost Kobe this year. And I just think it would be great for LeBron to bring the chip home to Kobe. Co I mean, in the name of Kobe and his daughter and, and the Bryant family. I just think it would be a great thing. Um, once again, like I said, shouts out to my brethren, Beanie Mine, Bone to Killer, and Mosh It Up. Right now, I believe you got the video playing of the battle in Hip Hop Heads Worldwide, so you can shoot over there and check it out. Um, if it hasn't scrolled down yet, you could probably Google it, search it. It'll probably still pop up. Um, I don't remember if I put it on my, my, my page, on my personal page, or my fan page, but you can Google Bruce Wayne and see if it's, I still have it up on one of my pages as well. But let's get into some, of, some more some Bruce Wayne music. This is me. Featuring Papoose, this one's called Killer Sound Boy with some more reggae flavor. Check it, dance high reggae hip hop mix right here. Killer tune. Uh -huh. 
lot of them going to suffer tonight, like, cause this session is getting hot, and this shot down is on the fire. The mic ravager plus the dough gatherer, act up, get killed on camera, hammer splatter ya, separate me from the bunch, I'm not the average, duffel bag full of rappers' heads, he's a savage, I don't want the crowns, I want the heads that they rest upon, wonder why he limping gun about the size of Megatron, the Megadon, lay a nigga, world is born, sound boy killer, rude boy terminator, home invasion stuff is corpse in the refrigerator, catch me later, nah, if I catch you first, especially if you owe me paper, fuck a Uber, call a hearse, the God's verse, crack earth and moves mountains, stop niggas in their tracks like wolves howling, sound boys get found in a pool of blood, for the patch of the Bronx, body wrapped in the rug, buried like potato spuds, Bruce Wayne will eat your cups, blow a L while I die, blasting computer love. A lot of people going to feel good tonight, so I love the song, boy, I'm gonna end up a fight, fight. It's I got fire. rap skills, I pack still, grew up where it's mad real. The gun so big, I shoot it on one knee like when Cap Neal. These rappers wear those, man, they be popping mad pills. When I got a headache, I don't even pop Advil. Was on the block letting the strap pill. Since Curtis Sleeper and the Guardian Angels was screaming out crack kills. Brownsville, we up and down the hill just like Jack Jill. Vicious like Tyson when he came out of the cat skills. I be going stupid hard, they be like Pap Chill. Lights, gas, cable, water, man, I got mad bills. You be in the strip club getting free feels Touching on the strippers and don't pay them just for cheap thrills They know I'm nice from Poughkeepsie down to peak skill They'll tell you none of these niggas gonna fuck with peace skills You ain't G real, take a shot, refill Niggas know I'm quick to pop a woolly like Meek Mill Watch me song when I tremble Watch me song when I pray Watch me song when I tremble Watch me song when I pray it don't take a rocket scientist or Einstein to hear that the flow is prime time. Y'all just rhyme. My shit resonates like old Negro spirituals. Criminal minded the way my boss kills his criminal. Cut from the claw for kings and savage warriors. Go against him? They're gonna question your competence. I murder sound boys. Show up at the funeral. Blast in my latest release at the funeral. Probably take a pic with your moms at your funeral. Hold a passage out the Quran before they sing with you. I'm awesome. Out of this world like a Martian, I blow foes the bitch, I'm C4 walking, explosive, acidic on tracks, and corrosive, I decimate, near when you see me, the black Moses, I spend my days sharpening mics so high noon, the stab rappers like harpoon, some boy you sharp fool, a lot of people going to feel good tonight, so a lot of some boy I'm gonna end up a fight, fight, but remember, It's under fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was called Killer Soundboy with your boy Bruce Wayne and Papoose, Bronx, Brooklyn, tearing that track down, giving y'all that real hip hop reggae flavor. That right there available on my latest album out now, the Dark Knight album two, Fight for Gotham. Right there. Make sure you go pick that up. Bruce Wayne's The Dark Knight Album 2, Fight For Gotham. Critically acclaimed by Hip Hop DX and Hip Hop Wyatt, uh, Hip Hop Wyatt as one of 2019's best releases. On that you have myself, Papoose, Big Pun Son, Chris Rivers, Wayne Enterprise recording artist, Fam Illy, a ton of bangers on there. You can get that online at all outlets or you can go get that straight from Wayne Enterprises dot, I mean, WayneEnterprises.com and from BruceWayne.com. Um, this is Bruce Wayne Live. Thank you for y'all for tuning in. Like I said, I'm here every Sunday touching on various topics. I appreciate the viewership. Make sure you like, share, and share to, um, and share the video as well. Also forgot to mention in the beginning, if you are watching this on, on YouTube, Make sure you subscribe to the kid on, on, on the YouTube channel as well. 
you know, there it is right there. Wayne ENT on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the kid. Cause I, I got a lot of, I get a lot of views and a lot of viewerships. But it's like they just they just swap, they just hitting and dipping. Hitting and dipping. Make sure you subscribe so you can get a new video. Uh, um get get um be the first to get the new video, the first to get musical videos as well as the Bruce Wayne Lives, where I touch on various topics um affecting the hip hop community and the global community. Also, there was a, a some crazy footage that came out too, man, with some dude that jumped into uh went to a zoo um and jumped into the water and was wrestling a bear and tried to drown the bear. And I know you're saying to yourself, how did the man how did he live? Kind of found out it was a circus bear because if it would have been a grizzly, that would have been his ass. And I know what y'all saying, and I know what y'all thinking. Was he a white man? I love my white followers and my white supporters, but y'all know sometimes if, Y'all have y'all Caucasian brothers be doing some wild shit. Yes, it was a white man that decided to hop the fence and jump in the, into the, the 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 water and wrestle and try to drown the, drown the bear. And he had the bear. If you see the struggle, the bear was gone. At some point, he just decided to let the go, let the bear go, and he ran off. Also, I got a question after I show this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show the video first and then pose the question or. Either way, it's a quick video, but what do you feel about this? This guy got very upset, domino worker, because he didn't get tipped. Check this out. Hey, how we doing? Thanks for the tip. Eh, what I do, What? <laughs> yeah, fuck you, bro. What? It's for her, dude. I didn't even order it. Well, tip her, bro. Dude, that's funny, bro. Really? Yeah. I didn't even order it. I don't dude. get. I don't make fucking money if I don't get tips. Dude, I didn't even I just order the f pizza with my guy. So fuck you guys. Dude, I didn't even order. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. How do you feel about that? He didn't get tip, and he said thank you for the tip. The kid said something, and he said fuck you. Fuck you, you're not tipping me. I'm over here delivering you pizza during COVID. Yes, your pizza might have the virus on it, but can you please tip me? Um, how do you feel about that? Do you feel, are you a tipper? Do you tip? Are you one of them stingy motherfuckers? Do you tip? I personally, I tip. I, I am a tipper, depending on, but based on service. If the service ain't up to par, you might get something, but, you know, it's been very rare occasions where I had to just walk out and leave nothing. And um, I believe the last time that happened, I was out dining with my daughter. That was years ago, years ago. And the service sucked to a whole other level. And um, I ain't leaving shit. And my daughter's like, Daddy, you going to do that? I'm like, yes, I'm going to do that. And if she sees this video, she's probably laughing because she probably remember that shit. I do tip, I do try to tip because I realize that for some people, that's how they, um, that's their main source. You know what I mean? They might be getting absolutely nothing besides the tip or a very low based income. So the tip does help. Do I condone his, the rudeness that he, that he displayed? No, he got, he got terminated by the way, but I'm sure it's probably not hard to go find another job at another Domino's. Um, it wasn't like they showed his face. Or at another piece of shop, and, and um, whatever else he was. Hopefully, he moves on to bigger and better things in life. Um, at least he ain't put hands on homeboy. You know, you start calling him bro and all this other shit. Once you hear that, you already know it's like. But it, it is what it is. I personally, I do tip because I know some people are just in industries where that definitely helps them out. Back to my people, them. Back to my people, them. Shouts out once again to Bone to Killer and Beanie Man for mashing it up. Shouts out to Swiss Beats and whoever else may have been involved in, in getting and making it happen. I know they kept shouting out Diddy and Ciroc. Diddy's a very savvy businessman. Shouts out to him and Revolt. 
They knew it was going to be viewership. They're like, boy, grab that Ciroc and big me up. So that's exactly what they did. Hopefully they were compensated for that. They kept bigging up Diddy, bigging up um, Khaled and all these other entities and individuals. So hopefully they were compensated for that because the viewership was crazy. It was about um, 500,000 at one point. I think it may have almost peaked at 500,000. That's not even to, to count the amount of people that's going to be watching the rebroadcast. So hopefully we get some more entertaining battles. I'm hearing, I was hearing whispers about DMX and Eminem. M says, DMX says he does not want to battle Eminem. He said he wants to go at it with Hov. For anybody that knows their history and is a historian in this hip hop field, such as the Batman, you know that it was rumored, it's like urban legend, but confirmed urban legend that Hove and DMX battled back in the days. I forgot whether it was in Harlem or, 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 or um, Yonkers, but I heard they did battle um, behind closed doors. Shit got hectic. Guns were drawn, niggas. Guns were drawn. It don't get more hectic than guns being drawn. So guns were drawn. So it reached the ultimate level of competitive um, heat. So X still got an itch. He still wants, he still got an itch. He still wants a part of, of the Jigger Man. He still wants a part of Hov. Um, let's see if Hov will step up and, and, and take the challenge on. At the end of the day, these battles are not like career ending battles, like battles that could that end your career. These are just guys playing their top hits. That's it. That's what made, and most of the time, they're in separate locations. That's what made the Beanie Man and, and Bounty Killer unique. They were in the same place. They fed off their energy. It was really made, it was really more of a concert than anything on a, on a, on a smaller scale. But um, let's get into some. I got into something with Bounty Killer earlier with um, Mob Deep. So let me give my man Beanie, Beanie some shine, Pomitin, you know. Let's go, Beanie Man. Some Beanie. Old dog. Hold me 
don't have to leave me, mama tell me, send me car. Five, six, seven, eight, y'all are where me want. One burner, this is an on me, that ya. Me is a born slammer, me mother in law. Pick me now, sit down and watch how she run. A long time, me, I notice how the legs them brown. Enough time, me see her now, me, me, night phone. A line, me, a line, I'm pretty cold, me so. Hold on, y'all, it's weird. We have to have them in a twos and three. And everybody know me while I'm ready. Yo, that was the general Beanie Man. Once again, shouts out to them. This is your boy Bruce Wayne. Thank you for tuning in. Be safe out there. I'm about to get up out of here, family. Um, if you want to get in contact with the Batman, reach out to BruceWayne.com. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do you one better. There's information right there for you. Um, you could go visit www.bruceswain.com to keep up with latest news on the Batman. You can also go over to www.wayneenterprises.com if you'd like to keep up with the entertainment news. You could join the group over there, join the website over there as well. Um, if you'd like to advertise on that website, just reach out to vatmusicpro.com. That website is right there. I mean, that email address is right there below. With the Wayne Enterprises um, HTML um, link, thatmusicpro.com. If you'd like to book Bruce Wayne for any shows, interviews, um, walkthroughs, anything of that nature, um, you can also reach out to thatmusicpro.com right there. You want to get Bruce Wayne to feature on one of your projects, get the Batman on your on your next project, your next mixtape or album to help you get to the next level, bring some more buzz to what you're doing, reach out to That Music Pro at gmail.com you like the show you like what i'm doing you could send some bread over the batman does take bread in any amount um the cash app is dollar sign wayne enterprises.com you can shoot that cash app over there be safe out there family stay covid free i'm out of here family i'm out of here